Okay, we're going to work on that uh, leg press, and this time um, we're going to filter it through. And watch this variation how Derek will roll into Eric's legs and, and take it. So what, what, we've, what we've done, we filter through, and we've got the choke here, as you can see it developing. Okay, so there's a nasty. And he grabs his leg and creates it to happen, and forces it to happen. So he's pushing it. So watch. He'll filter his. Now, see how he's grabbing? First of all, he's grabbing. Let's start again, Derek. I was behind you. So look at his right hand. He reaches into the lapel very tightly. And this is going to be a really nasty um, choke against the, the, uh, the, the trachea, too, by the way. All right, so he's going to filter his leg through and come across and see how he traps it. Now watch. See how he's pushing his right foot on his left heel? Nasty choke there. And now he reaches and he grabs that leg and he rolls back and he hooks it. And by hooking and rolling back, it creates a really nasty shin choke against the neck. And also, not against the neck only, it's against the, 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 uh, trachea. the trachea. Yeah. So it's kind of a double trouble on the neck. As you reach through the grab yeah. that leg, his hand is sitting there, you could eat that. Hook on through and grab the arm the rest of the way. Let's just do one more, one more for YouTube, and it's kind of fun to see and do. So I'm just glad I'm not the guy on the bottom. <laughs> reach through there, see how you trap that, very nasty. Push on that foot, that in itself is nasty enough roll back and that rolling back creates and pulls him up and creates it and you can also get a nice arm lock from there remember as we say all roads lead to juji so there we go all right okay here's a variation sandy harrelson came up with and so we're, we're we're trapping there we got the the choke as you can see okay from the leg press position we slide through we come across with the the foot over the head okay now what's going to happen is he's going to trap that he's going to grab her far, her near leg now look how he shoots his right foot back and he leans into it and that is a very nasty choke and this is where getting a base move like sean doherty showed us and we're working with it on on the mat and this is how, how new moves develop so reach through there filter it through see how he traps the head now he grabs and he leans into it a really, really nasty choke. And then he comes up, man, it just... Yeah, it's Come. nasty. And I've, I'm, I'm being very nice yeah. and being... Yeah, if you nice. really reached even, in there and caught even, that tight... It's not even this that much yeah. as it is the arm. arm the, the arm and the shin. Yep. Can, can you do that on somebody who's a little taller? And we'll pick poor Eric here because Eric. because what we want to see is a, a little longer body, how it works in oh, a different angle. Work. And he'll, he'll do it, you know, he was nice to Sandy, so he won't be as nice to Eric. So I don't they, like Eric. No, no. <laughs> He's got that long hippie. Here. But you see, you see how he reaches through that very tight, sli slides through. He comes over his arm and traps it, traps the foot under the head. Not, and very good. Okay. Now see how he grabs there? Now he leans back and into him, and look at that nasty leg choke. Because he's trapping here at the, at the trachea, and you can come to the top and re re lean over. I do the one where you sit up on him. And you can stand up on him and do the same thing right there. <laughs> so what you're doing is really that, that, that lapel choke is really going against the trachea, straight into the trachea, and that foot is on the carotid on the inside of that neck, and as you lean into it, it creates really a double, double yeah. trouble pressure on the trachea and the carotid. And there, see how all these variations we have. So it's a great, great leg choke. So again, thanks to Sean Doherty for planting the idea in our head, and we've been having a lot of pro a lot of fun with it here at Welcome Mat. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Okay, this is the uh, the, the variation of the, uh, the the leg choke out of the the leg press position, but we'll show a little difference here. Have Julie demonstrate. She's reaching with her hand first against Mike and this really works the trachea quite a bit and she really traps it now look at how she pushes with her foot on her own foot see and that drives it in there and makes it a nastier choke okay so she's got her good do the leg press okay she and she filters it through she filters her left leg through now at this point she's going to reach in and get the the, the the choke okay very very tight now she's going to loop her leg over her arm, and she's going to push on her heel, creating a nasty choke. She rolls to her right toward, toward Mike's hip. You could probably roll to his legs and bring him up. Why don't you do that again? Same situation, but this time when you roll, Julie, roll to your left toward his legs. Get that choke. Come over the top. Now put your heel. Now, now roll. Can you roll through that toward, toward your left? Maybe that'll work. Back, just don't lean back, just roll to your left. Just roll directly to your left. 
Try to push your, your and, ear on the mat. And as you do that, push push on your heel. <laughs> there you go. That's it. <laughs> See, your right foot is pushing hard on your left foot and really drives that shin into the neck. It makes it tap. So that's just a variation of the, uh, you know, the Sean Doherty uh, leg press or the, the leg choke come the top. And she's grabbing here. See how she, how she swings her leg over the hand on the lapel. And there's, creates the choke there. Very nasty choke. So that's a great technique. It has a lot of possibilities. And uh, we hope you guys at YouTube uh, like it and train with it. All right, this is the, uh, the actually the shin choke or the leg leg choke that Sean Doherty was working with us at uh, John Saylor Shingi Tai Camp last May. And we've been playing around. Well, here's a variation we have of that. So, Derek, why don't you talk us through it real quick? Okay, so again, we're in the, the leg press position. He's doing a good job of, of controlling his, his arms so that I can't pop it free, get it loose. So I'm going to fake a, uh, a bicep push with my, my foot. Normally what we do with this is we pull it straight and then sit back and finish the arm bar. But maybe he's too strong for it or maybe I just don't feel like doing it. But I'm going to fake putting my foot in there, okay? And as soon as I get him to bite on that, I'm going to give him an avenue of escape to roll back with you that might and push that arm. foot through, okay? Oh, like as it pushes through, circle back and cut his head. And you're really trapping that head with, see, the, the top of your foot there. Don't just kind of put it passively back there. I want to see how my foot's flat right there. I want to literally cut the back of his foot. Right. My foot. We're focusing on that, yeah. And as soon as we get that, bring that foot, the other leg forward to uh, support it. Reach through and get a right. table grip it like an and just okay. yeah, I don't know. trap your there. It's basically a kind of like a go-go plata. Right, uh, right. It's a little bit. Yeah, but you can side. see how that I'm, I'm focusing in on that shin on the inside, his left side of his carotid, and you just crank it in there. It's a nasty neck crank. Okay. And a variation you might want to do too with that right foot that's there. Keep, keep that left foot in, Derek. Though you had it. With your right foot, put the heel of your, the bottom of your foot on your heel as you crank his neck, and just that helps by pushing on your foot. It pushes it tighter. It just jams it tighter into the neck. So it's a nice variation that we've had there. Okay. All right. Um, I know you've got an injured hand there. Do you think you could do the, the, the lapel sure. version where you reach through? Okay. So, again, another variation. By the way, let's give credit to, I think, I'm not sure it was Jake uh, or Kelvin who came up with this. Jake personally or Kelvin nicely, but they were playing with this. And it could have been Sho Kurokawa. I don't remember who it was the other night, but came up with a one nice. Of those guys. One of those guys. Okay. okay. So, same position. We're finding from here, I like grabbing first the, uh, the collar because he's worried about his arm. So I'm going to grab his collar while my, I'm still in the leg press position and then I'm going to start faking this. Right. Okay, he's still thinking I'm going after his arm. So as soon as I get that, push through, loop, and grab behind his head. Okay. And that, that lapel choke is very nasty because what you're doing, you're wedging him with your shin on the inside of his carotid there, his left side of his head, as you're pulling that lapel across. It's a very nasty lapel choke as well. So it's a, it's a leg and a lapel choke. And if you don't like that version, you can also grab here first. So again, I'm, I'm underhooked. I've grabbed there. Okay. Try to. Um, if you're you're not your hand isn't quite as flexible, this one you might like. Right. Thumb up. Grab inside. I'm pushing. Loop through. Loop through, and there's the choke right there. Very nasty choke. Okay. So that whole series is from a leg press position of control. We're controlling him in the leg press. And again, you know, Jujigatami is the first thing we think of in that position, but there are a lot of other options as well. This is being one of them. This, um, we we'll call it, uh, we haven't named it yet, so it's Sean Doherty's the one that showed it to us, so we'll give him credit. The Doherty uh, leg choke. So there you go, Sean. That's for you, buddy. All right, there we go.